Yo, what is good YouTube? It is Tidzy, and today I'm going to be bringing you the best pop build on NBA 2K23 next gen. I'm sure you can make a very similar build on current gen, but I won't be playing current gen, so I won't be putting any videos out for that, but you could basically follow this one along, tinker around with it a little bit, and I'm sure it works just the same. But this right here is strictly the best shooting build on NBA 2K23 next gen. I'm not going to waste any of your time. You've seen the clips at the start. Let's get into it so you can start making this build and get out there into the city. So firstly, you want to make the build power forward. First, last name, handedness, and jersey number is all personal preference. You want to make the build 6 foot 9, 228 pounds, and 7 foot 7 wingspan. Uh, with the weight 228 pounds, that's just enough so that you get to 86 strength, which will unlock gold brick wall. All right, let's get into the attributes. Close shot, 50. Driving layup, 60. Now, with those two, you're not going to be doing very many driving layups as it is, but you can still get the guard layup animation on this build, and that works very, very well. Close shot, doesn't really matter that much whatsoever. I mean, I've been making contested close shots on this build, and anytime I'm around the basket and I'm somewhat open, it's going in regardless. Driving dunk, 75. You unlock some pretty decent animations at 75. Um, if you go past someone, you're going to be dunking it every single time. The chase downs in this game, from what I've seen, are not great. So you don't need an insanely high dunk. Um, especially on a popper. This build is primarily for twos. So, I mean, if someone comes up too high and you're playing your shot, you get past them. 75 driving dunk is more than enough. Standing dunk at 54, if you're underneath the basket and someone jumps and you go up with it, you're most likely going to do a standing dunk with 54. I've had no troubles with it whatsoever so far from what I've played. You want to leave the post control, well that will automatically go up to 26. Mid range, 74, more than enough. I've been making fading mid ranges, I've been making step back mid ranges, all sorts. 81 three ball, more than enough. I'm greening very consistently with barely any badges I, I honestly think you could go lower than an 83 ball if you wanted to but I've just gone with 81 just so you, that you get a little bit better badges and yeah 74 mid range and I left the free throw as it is 57 this is primarily a twos build it's not for not really for the rec center I mean you could play rec on it very easily play play spot up you could play you'll probably be undersized in the rec if you're if you're going with a 6 9 it'll be alright as a power forward as a spot up uh, so yeah, 57 free throw, 81 three ball, 74 mid. Passing accuracy, 70. Now this is so important this year. With 70 passing accuracy, it feels like gold bullet passer from last 2K. The passes with 70 pass accuracy are very, very, very good. And it unlocks some, some good passing badges as well. Uh, ball handling, 35. Speed with ball, 30. I mean, you've seen the clips. You don't really need any ball handling or any speed with ball. You can blow by defenders, other centers very, very easily. The speed with ball, I, I feel like is just a genuine lie. Um, sometimes you just get the randomest speed boost animations out of a catch. And yeah, 30 feels like 80 from previous games. So I just left that as it is. That's, that's well and truly good as a spot up, as a popper. Uh, interior defense, I went with 95, 80 perimeter defense, 85 steal, 93 block, 95 offensive rebound, and 99 defensive rebound. So this gets Hall of Fame chase down artist, Hall of Fame rebound, rebound chaser, Hall of Fame pogo stick, you get silver interceptor on this, you get post move lockdown, off ball pierce, gold menace, gold brick wall. I mean, this build defensively is actually incredible from what I've seen and what I've played so far. And as well as that, 80 speed, 75 acceleration, 86 strength, as we mentioned before. That's why we went with the weight to get the gold brick wall, 85 vertical, and 87 stamina. This 85 vertical has been very, very, very good with rebounds, especially with the high rebounding rating and a very high vertical. You're going to be snagging those taller centers. And stamina 87, that's more than enough. And yeah, man. And with the takeovers, I I went with limitless range. That's what I've got right now. But when I can, I will be changing it to spot up precision. Limitless range, I feel like isn't that great, but I've seen spot up and spot up looks a lot better. And then for my secondary takeover, I chose stuff blocks. 
and that is the build right there and you have made a two-way stretch glass cleaner shades of Dave DeBuscher, Al Horford and Draymond Green uh, I'll be coming out with a inside build tomorrow this build is mainly for the twos but you could you could use it in threes you could use it in wreck it's very versatile but primarily this will be my twos build this year um, yeah, tomorrow, within the next 24 hours of this video going live, I'll be uploading my inside center build that I'll be using on the threes this year. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. It has been Tidzy, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.